Hey everybody, Answering Sales for Detailing. I wanna do a quick tip video. It's gonna be about how to remove tree sap. We just had a customer, or I've had a few customers call me about it, and some that do things that aren't the best and they end up damaging their car. So I wanna do a quick video. I do not have a car tree sap on it. I kinda of just wanna hopefully um, not have any more cars that are damaged come to me. That's not, not what I wanna do. I wanna prevent this before anything happens. First thing, don't use like a SOS pad or anything abrasive. That's a wrong thing to do. You're gonna scratch your paint out and then we're gonna have to polish it. It's a whole thing. Don't do that. Literally, go to the store, get 90%, 99% isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, put it in a spray bottle, or even if you had to have it in the bottle from Shoppers Drug Mart, get a microfiber towel, pour it on the towel, and let it dab the the sap. What that's gonna do is if it's really on there and it's not moving at all, dump a little bit on the paint. The alcohol will not hurt your paint at all. So don't worry about that. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, put a little bit of alcohol on the paint, let it sit for a little bit. What that's gonna do is gonna start eating away at the tree sap, make it a lot easier to remove, grab a microfiber towel and wipe it off. It should not take work. Like you should not be having to scrub it. If you're having to scrub it, put more alcohol on, let it eat away at it. Let the alcohol do the work. I don't want to have any more customers with damaged cars. That's not something I want to do. I want to make it easier. So three things you need, uh, two or three. Uh, isopropyl alcohol, so shopper's drug market, rubbing alcohol or 99% isopropyl alcohol. Next, microfiber towel. Don't be using like a towel that you've used a thousand times. And once this towel is done, like you've used it, don't use anything else. Cause you're gonna sap in it, it's gonna be all crusty and whatever. So use a towel, like go get a towel either from Canadian Tire, get a pack of them. And these are ones that like I use for um, dirty areas, like your rims to clean, your door jams, stuff like that. That's what you want. Don't use an expensive towel. And the last thing is literally just put the alcohol on and then let it sit. Don't rush it. And the main thing here is don't use gasoline or acetone or anything. Don't use gasoline. That's the first thing people tell me, should I use gasoline? No, it's going to eat away your paint and it's going to turn into a mess. Just use alcohol, please use alcohol and a towel and you're gonna be fine. If you have any questions about this or you're running into issues with getting it off, give me a call, 519-890-8366 or you can message us and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. If you can't get it off, obviously we can do it for you. This isn't a video trying to sell a service. This is more so of, I don't want you guys to damage your car because you don't know any better. I want you to do it and it's easy and I know it's hard to prevent sometimes when you have a tree in your driveway and it's just dropping sap on your car. I know it's hard. Um, but use the alcohol and the microfiber towel and I'll get you a good start. Hopefully, you don't have to call us at all for help. But if you do, don't be afraid to give me a call. Anything at all, don't be afraid to ask. Talk to you soon.